Hey everybody, it is your boy the Separate Eagle here, and today we will be starting a brand new series. And as you can tell in the intro and the description, I am going to be doing a franchise with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yes, we will be an owner. We're going to be an owner. We're going to be a lifelong fan owner. Kind of just scrolling through right here, looking at all the different ones. We're going to be a lifelong fan owner, and I keep scrolling through. Uh, can we, yeah. Our name is going to be Travis McGee. We're going to start in the preseason. I'm going to do some cuts in the preseason, and we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump in. I'm very excited about this series. I hope it's a good series. It'd be a good change from the Troy Dynasty, and right now I'm simulating to 2016 preseason week one, and I am very excited about this series. I hope it will be a good series. We'll probably play... As many seasons as we can before Madden 18. I know Madden 18, that sounds crazy. And right here, we're going to answer a media question right here. Have Having been a fan of this team your entire life, there is some concern that you might be too emotional or too involved to let your football people do their jobs. How do you respond? And then I said, um, I would simply say if we're winning, no one is going to be concerned about how I'm running the team. So, yeah, that was my response. And now this is your starting lineup for the offense and defense right here Jameis Winston Doug Martin you obviously know them and you can look at some of the offensive line we also have Brent Grimes on the defense uh Tandy we have Vernon Hargraves the rookie we also have Gerald McCoy and I just want to let you know that we I'm using week seven like current rosters for right now so probably championship Sunday rosters and as you can see we're looking at Mike Evans real quick he has 88 speed, 88 route running, 88 catch, 91 acceleration. Some very good, um, very good stats. He's one of the best wide receivers in the league. He will probably be our main threat, and we we need him to have a big year if we plan to make the playoffs, which is my intention this year. And next up, we have defensive tackle Gerald McCoy. He also needs to be a big threat this year if we want to do anything. He needs to be a big part of the defense a six-year veteran he's certainly going to have to lead this defense and also helping him brent grimes yes uh the free agent um i do believe he was a free agent acquisition a nine-year veteran and we have a lot of leadership on this young bucks defense and now next up we have doug martin doug or not yes 89 speed 88 acceleration 86 carrying 89 ball carrying vision 90 trucking will be running in between the tackles and our Franchise quarterback Jameis Winston, he has some decent stats across the board. The one-year man out of Florida State, the sophomore quarterback, will be needing him to have a big year as well. Now we are going to look at the overall roster right here, and you can just see we have a very good linebacking core with Quan Alexander, Levante, David, and I forget the other linebacker, but, um, and then I think what, and Daryl Smith, um, was the other linebacker, the left outside linebacker. I think our se secondary needs to get a lot better. We need Vernon Hargraves to improve a lot. Our defensive line could improve a little bit. And we also have Roberto Agraya, the rookie kicker. Hopefully he'll have a better season than he did in real life in the game. And now I'm just going to kind of the bottom part because this is um some of the lower rated players. Now we're going to get to the cuts, probably the most upsetting part of any NFL franchise. And we need to make three cuts right here. First up, we are going to... Who are we going to cut? Now we're just looking through them. This is me playing the game right here. I'm doing a after commentary. Now we're just looking. I think first I cut Blake Sims. And then I think this. these were some pretty cu quick cuts right here. Then we cut Bernard Reedy. Press yes. Press yes. There we go. And then we cut Freddie Martino, I do believe. Yes. And now we're, those were all the cuts. And after week one, Mike Glennon had a six-week uh, fracture. And then you can see some of the preseason stats right here. And what I wanted to say is that Dante Die Jr. and Miles White will be on the cut line for probably week four. And then first up, you saw the cut right here. Ryan Russell is the second cut right here cut him as well Devonte bond was another cut that we had and we're kind of just going through some of these quick cuts and now this is where all the big cuts happen we do we can put people on the practice squad and that was one option for, for dante die jr but i saw his 91 speed 91 acceleration he also had a good agility rating as you can see right here and i thought he could be a important part maybe of the kick return team he could play special teams so 
you know, he was on that cut line, so I didn't immediately put a, immediately put him anywhere. I kind of kept him right there waiting to see what we would do. And next up, we have Devontae Lambert, and I did. I And now we're looking at some of his stats, 82 strength, 97, 76 tackle, and he needs to improve on his... Uh, block shedding his power moves his finesse moves. He has decent speed. Maybe he could be converted to a linebacker I moved him to the practice squad. He will stay a buccaneer Peyton Barber was another man I was looking at the rookie out of Auburn You look at some of his stats 86 speed 89 acceleration and it just drops off from there his best stat after that is probably his agility and trucking we moved him to the practice squad and miles white is another man on the cut line we have a lot of depth at wide receiver Mike Evans Vincent Jackson uh, Russell Shepard, just to name a few. Here. And next up with all our, uh, another person on the cut line, John Hughes the third, the 72, 72 overall defensive tackle. He's kind of low on the board. And in the end, I did decide, oh no, this is another defensive tackle. Silver, uh, I forgot what his last name. I did cut him. And then I think with the center right here, we did, um, we moved him to the practice squad. Gosh, that's a terrible job at editing. And Alan Cross, we released Alan Cross, the fullback. J Javian Elliott has 86 speed, 78 man coverage, and a good agility. He needs to work on some other things. So we moved him to the practice squad. Hopefully he'll get better. And in the end, I did decide to cut John Hughes the... And in the end, I did decide to cut John Hughes the third again. Now we're looking at the practice squad. We have about eight... Seven slots, excuse me, left on the practice squad, and I decided to move left tackle, left tackle, that left tackle there to the practice squad for depth in the offensive line. Then I decided to move this left guard, Mike uh, Lidkey, I think his name is pronounced, to the practice squad. Now we're looking at Dante Die Jr. and Mile and uh, Miles, whatever Miles White, I think <laughs> I don't even know what his name was. And as you can see, I previously stated that he has some good agility, elusiveness, and his um, juke move is not too bad too. And I previously said he could be very valuable in the special uh, t special teams thing. And now we're looking at Miles White. He has 90 speed, 77 catch, 91 acceleration. Route running isn't great. He has decent hops. He has like a 91 jump, I do believe. And then... And now we are looking at Miles White again, as I've said, and we're still deciding. And I think in the end, Miles White would, is not a buck. We did decide to cut him. Sorry, that cut was so fast, kind of moved fast. Now we're looking at the practice squad. First off, we decided to sign Sean Davis, a 75er overall, strong safety to the practice squad. We do need help in the secondary. He is a Buck on the practice squad. Next, we decided to sign Quentin Rollins, 72 overall. Quarterback has 87 speed, 78 man coverage, 89 agility, and 82 press. We decided to sign him to the practice squad as well. Next, we signed Gerard Holloman. Gerard, I think it's Gerard, my bad. 85 speed right there, 78 zone, 90 acceleration, 71 man coverage. He needs to improve a little bit, so... That's why we put him on the practice squad. He will improve on the practice squad for a while. The one-year man out of Louisville. And, you know, I think that I added a lot of secondary to our team to make sure we can improve there. And next, we signed a backup kicker, Kyle Brinsda. 94 kick power, but his accuracy has left has left some to be desired. We signed him to the practice squad as well. And the final person we signed to the practice squad, Jordan Richards, 86 speed. He has some very good stats right there. 72 zone coverage, 90 acceleration, 61 man, 76 hit power, which is nice for a strong safety. And he's overall 69 overall. He would be our last addition to the Buccaneers. And that is going to do it for anything cut wise, signing players, you know. And as I said before, we added a lot of depth to the secondary hopefully these players will progress and now we are looking at the overall practice squad have a, some backup players some backup offensive linemen then we have some players we're trying to uh, get get better most mostly secondary players in the secondary now i wanted to talk about the sliders i'm using i'm using sliders by arios gaming i will have them down in the description the video that i got it from 
and I set the penalties to what he had on them too. I went to the video and copied it off the video. I'll have that down in the description. Hopefully these sliders will be good enough. I'll be playing on all Madden difficulty on these and I think eight minute quarters, but that may change. I've already recorded the um the first episode of the Buccaneers game I just need to edit it and then I'll put that up but yes I'm very excited for this for this um series and as you quickly scroll by the preseason um scores I'll show you those in a minute as well very excited for this series hopefully it'll be good I plan to be posting a lot of Troy and Buccaneers franchises and maybe we'll pick up that road to road to the show back up we'll probably be doing Travis McGee I may try to do that as well a little bit and as you can see we're gonna look at the preseason we lost we went one and three and we won against the Browns no shocker well guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and always God bless this is the separate eagle flying off thanks for watching everybody